Hello everyone and welcome to Director of Music's Notes for the Sunday at the beginning of fifth week. It's amazing to think that we are halfway through full term already. Of course, this Sunday is the Sunday after the Ascension, and I'm sure the chaplain will have mentioned this great 10-day waiting period between Ascension Day and Pentecost and the coming of the Holy Spirit. This gives us a little space to look at some musical things. On Thursday, in the live stream, you will have heard a recording of our chapel choir under my splendid predecessor, singing Oh Clap Your Hands by Vaughan Williams. Now, a setting of the same text comes from Orlando Gibbons in 1622. And it's amazing to think of Orlando Gibbons in 1622 in the Sheldonian Theatre, alongside Sir William Heather, his great friend. Sir William Heather gave his name to the ancient chair of music in the university, based at Wadham College. And together they received their Oxford D. Muds, Doctor of Music. Sources differ as to whether Gibbons wrote O oh, Clap Your Hands as his supplicatory work for this degree, or whether he wrote it in celebration. I think he could easily have supplicated it for the degree because it's eight part counterpoint of the highest order. Amazing to think of an Englishman writing such eight part counterpoint 60 years before the birth of Bach. Then another piece that you will hear at this time of year is God is Gone Up by Gerald Finzi. This can bring me on to one of my very favourite hobby horse performance coaching subjects, which is that of metronome marks. Let's take a little bit of a look at metronome marks. Beethoven's metronome marks at the opening of the movements of his symphonies, particularly the outer movements, are famously fast. Now, are we to take these metronome marks as meaning the piece starts at exactly this metronome mark, or are we to take this metronome mark as meaning that when the music gets heated, that, the, that the, you should not exceed this metronome mark? People are pleased to call the development section of a sonata form movement, they're pleased to call it the development section. I like to call it the argument section, where argument short phrases start piling in on top of one another. And this means the argument gets heated. And when the argument gets heated, of course, the, the speed can sometimes get heated. I like to think of Beethoven's metronome marks as speed limits rather than speed starts. That can be very helpful, particularly when playing his piano sonatas. In Gerald Finzi's God is Gone Up, he writes crotchet equals 138. Now that is quite incredibly fast, and you'll never ever hear the beginning of this work played at that speed. In the middle of the piece, he writes più vivo, which of course we mean, we think he means take it even faster. Mozart does this twice in his piano concertos. He'll write in the last movement, allegro assai. Mind you, allegro assai can be interpreted as meaning either as fast as possible or fast enough. Beware anybody uh, that's not technically proficient. You should never ever play any movement faster than your own technique will now. And I think that that's the clue for Allegra Asai. I think he's telling you that you should play it at the speed that is the fastest that your own technique can manage. So there's my little bit of spiel about metronome marks. A number, uh, one of the number of things that I look forward to sharing with you when we're all back together. I hope you have a good week. Bye-bye.